Leroy's Pokemon Black and White Walkthrough, Part 19. Alright, so last time we defeated the gym leader, Elisa, and um, before we leave Nimbasa City, which, by the way, happens to be the most populous city in any of the Pokemon games, we're quickly going to check out Route 16. I guess we technically are leaving Nimbasa City, but what I should say is we're not going to move forward towards the next city. We're going to take a quick detour to check out this route. Um... There's basically just some trainers over here, some new Pokemon to catch, it's worth checking out. So right off the bat, we got a police officer patrolling around on Route 16. So yeah. And my question is, why isn't this policeman, you know, going after Team Plasma or doing something useful? Instead? I mean, what's going on in Route 16 that's so dangerous? I mean, seriously, go after Team Plasma and arrest those criminals who are keep stealing people's Pokemon. But whatever. Um, so yeah, he's got a herd here because I guess, you know, policemen like to use dogs. It's probably one of those bomb-sniffing dogs or something. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and use Arm Thrust. Yeah, these herd ears are annoying because they use Intimidate and lower your attack, but Porky should be fine. I'm not too worried about it. Anyways, there's kind of a secret in this video. Something I did before the video started that I didn't show on camera, but I'll see if you guys can catch on to it. I'm guessing some of you will, but... A lot of you are probably going to miss it. you gotta wa you got to watch very carefully and pay close attention. You might catch on. Um, anyways, Porky's going to get up to level 27, so there we go. That's nice. And Did you guys see it? Did you guys see it? Okay, maybe you missed it. I'm guessing a handful of you saw it that time. Maybe more, I'm not sure, but we'll keep going and see who catches on. Anyways, Porky, you got up a level, so let's try out Bulldor in the front here. I think you're pretty close to leveling up. So let's go ahead and fight this, um, cyclist. If I can chase you down, seriously, fight me. F Dang it, come on, fight me already. Why can't, okay, there we go. All right, that should not have been that hard. That's probably like one of the longest times I've ever spent chasing a trainer down to fight them. All right, so cyclist Krissa, she has a ducklet on her team, all right. Yeah, Ducklet, the water and flying type Pokemon, kind of like Wingle. Um, so yeah, even though it's a water type, I think Gabbro should be fine here. Um, Bulldor's just that beastly that he can take this thing down anyways. Alright, Feather Dance, that's going to lower my attack. Two stages, but I should be fine. Man, first I got to deal with the Intimidate, now I got to deal with this Feather Dance. Uh, but yeah, Ducklet's not that powerful, so... At least not defensively, so it should go down pretty easily. There we go, and not quite up level. Oh, did you guys see it that time? Maybe you missed it again. All right, all right. Pay close attention after we defeat this Lypard here. By the way, I'm going to switch back to Porky, because um, fighting is super effective against this thing. Um, Yeah, if you're wondering what Pokemon you can catch in this route, this Lypard is actually one of them. Additionally, you can catch Trubbish, which is a poison type, Minchino, which is a normal type, and then if you're playing black version, you can catch Gothita, and in white version, you can catch Solosis. Those are both psychic type Pokemon, which are really powerful, and I'd highly recommend them. Two of my favorites in black and white. Um, anyways, Fury swipes away. Ooh, critical hit, even. Wow, are you seriously gonna hit five times? Wow! All right, we'll finish you off anyways. And also, um, you know that rustling grass you see every once in a while? You can find a Molga in there now. Remember, that's the um, flying squirrel thing that we saw in the last gym. In case you wanted to add that to your team. And if you did not see it that time... Oh, I, I bet most everyone probably saw it that time. Now you guys are catching on to what's happening. But I'm sure there's still a few of you out there that didn't see it. So I'll give you another chance here. Anyways, let's switch up the team again. Um... Go ahead and fight this dude up here. Looks like a backpacker to me. Yeah, I put up my jungle gym to the front. I realize he's only at level 25, so... Time for him to get some action. And yeah, I've noticed a lot of people actually kind of skip this route completely. Um, route 16, just because it's not required, it's kind of out of the way, but a lot of people just completely ignore it or don't even realize it's there, and they move straight on to um, the west side of Nimbasa City. But yeah, I always think it's nice to check out these extra areas, just for the experience and everything, so. Drillbore goes down pretty easily, and okay, maybe, okay, if you guys are really paying attention, you probably saw it that time. Like, if, it, I, I, I've been giving you hints all the way along, maybe you're catching on, but I'll give you one last try, alright? Last chance to figure it out for yourself, and then I'll spill the beans and tell you guys what's going on. I'm guessing most of you saw it, though, by now. 
All right, so we got a Scraggy, and I guess Jungle Gym can take this thing out pretty easily. I mean, Seed Bomb pretty much knocks anything out in its path, so... Seed Bomb away! And yeah, I'm definitely glad I evolved this thing, instead of being one of those guys that tries to keep it as a Pan Sage until, like, level 43 or whatever. Um, okay, that time, I'm sure, okay, if you didn't see it that time, you are just completely, you must be blind if you didn't see it that time. Alright, I'll, I'll just show you guys what's going on now. Let's switch up the team and fight another trainer. Um, you guys have to have, if you didn't, okay, I'm sorry if you actually didn't see it, and you're probably like, oh, Leroy's calling me an idiot, okay. I'll just show you guys what's going on. Here's what's happening. You probably saw by now, but before this video started, I caught myself a new Pokemon. And it's been gaining experience this entire video through the experience share, and even leveled up twice, but here it is. It's my Gothita. Pokemon I mentioned earlier, I caught it in this route, actually. It's a psychic type, and it's pretty awesome, so it's the newest member of my team. Let's go ahead and Psybeam. Test out its strength here. But yeah, I put the experience share on Gathita, so it's been gaining experience through every fight. So if you're paying close attention, it would pop up on the screen and say, like, Gathita gains X number of experience points. But it kind of got really obvious when it started growing up levels and it just flashed on the screen. People are probably like, wait a minute, Gathita, hmm, a new Pokemon on this route, maybe he caught it for his team. But yeah, Gathita's my newest member. Yeah, and you might be wondering why it doesn't have a nickname. Actually, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I've kind of made this a trend in the past few walkthroughs to let the audience name one of my Pokemon, but... Yeah, Gothita. If you have a cool nickname um, for Gothita, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll read all of them and pick my favorite, and that's what I'll nickname it. So yeah, here's your chance to be creative and contribute to Leroy's amazing walkthroughs. Or something like that, I don't know. Alright, so... We'll finish it off this Whirlpeed here, and there we go. That should get Gothita up to level 22. Yeah, I caught it at level 19, so it's not going to take long to be caught up with the rest of my team members. See, I, I always think it's nice to have a good Psychic-type Pokemon. And Gothita is... The difference between Gothita... Actually, hold on. Quickly, let's talk about this. Yeah, there's this place called the Marvelous Bridge, but it's actually blocked off for now. So don't worry about it. You're not supposed to go in there. Just let it be. Um, anyways, looks like... I actually need to use Strength here, and I have not taught that to one of my Pokemon yet. So let's go ahead and teach Strength to probably, um, Bulldor. And we'll knock this thing out of the way. But yeah, the main difference between Gothita and Solosis. Solosis is like an all-out attacking Pokemon. Gothita has some more defensive power. Um, it's still actually a very good defense, or very good offensive Pokemon, but it has more defense than Solosis. And it's a bit faster. Um, anyways, yeah, we'll give you Strength so we can knock this boulder out of the way. I'll probably get rid of Strength later on for the Elite Four, because it's not the most powerful move in the world, but it'll do for now. Um, I got rid of Headbutt, actually. And let's also prepare for this next trainer, because I don't really want Gothita up in the front. So let's go ahead and move this massive boulder out of the way. And uh, quickly, I gotta spray some Repels, so let's take care of that. Alright, apparently I don't have any repels, so I wasted like five minutes looking through my bag. I was like, where are they? Where are they? Oh, that's right, I don't have any. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to hope we don't run into wild Pokemon, so. So far, so good. Anyways, another trainer here. Looks like another backpacker. And th you know what? This is kind of funny. There's a giant strength boulder blocking her path. She must have been locked in here for years or something, because all she has on her team is this Swalbloon, and this thing cannot learn strength. So yeah, she was trapped in the middle of the trees behind a giant boulder. And I came here to save her. Actually, I didn't really come here to save her. I just came here to defeat her Pokemon and take her money. You'd actually think when you move the boulder out of the way, she'd come, like, sprinting out, like, Oh my god, thank you for saving me! But no, I guess she just wants to stay in here. Like, lady, I saved your life! Aren't you gonna thank me? Nope, not at all. All she wants is a Pokemon battle. Anyways, there's an item up here. I mean, if you were trapped in the middle of these trees behind this boulder for this long, you'd think you would, she would have picked up this item by now, but apparently she just left it there. So there's TM66 Payback. It's a Dark-type move. And that move doubles in power if you were attacked before using it. So if you have a slower Pokemon that's going to take some damage before you attack, um, not a bad move. Anyways, I guess we'll leave and she's going to stay in there. <laughs> um, anyways, what else? Oh yeah, that's right. We still have one more item to grab up here, and then um, the Lost Lorn Forest. Darn it, wild battle. 
I guess I'm just gonna have to live with the wild battle since I don't have any repels. Anyways, if you have cut, you can knock down this tree right here. So let's go ahead and do that with our purloin. And we can grab this item, which is a rare candy. Everyone's favorite item, the rare candy. Automatically levels you up. Um, and yeah, last up is the Lost Lorn Forest, the secret area up here, which you can't really do anything in, but whatever, it's it's fine. We'll check it out anyways. Um, yeah, they got some funky music. And as far as wild Pokemon go, there's really nothing new in here, so it's not that exciting. What we will do is grab this item right here, which is a big mushroom. And then I'll try to kind of explain what this place is all about. Um, sorry, I just wanted to check out the music. It's kind of intriguing, but... Yeah, we'll move up to the front. There's nothing down here. You're going to have to go to the very north part of the forest. And I guess we'll have to avoid all these wild Pokemon. Or not. Alright, I think I can get out of here now. So, um... The way this place works, it's kind of an event area, so normally you can't do anything in here. And there's really nothing you can do about that. But, um, well this guy's going to talk to you. He really has nothing important to say, but he's going to leave. Now, there was an event earlier that you could get, like, a shiny Raikou, Suicune, or Entei. And if you have one of those Pokemon with you from the event, you can bring it to this lady here. And by doing so, you can catch a wild Zoroark. Otherwise, you cannot do anything. And yeah, all she has to say right now is dot, dot, dot. So, yeah, there's nothing to do in her house either. Or the RV, so. It's a worthless area if you haven't done those events. Don't worry about it if you haven't done the events. Um, yeah, that's basically how you can get a Zorark. So, it's kind of stupid. It's, like, very unlikely you have one of those shiny Raikus or whatever. But, yeah, that's all there is to do here. So, that's all we're doing in this video, guys. Next time, we'll head west outside of Nimbasa City towards Route 6. I'll see you all then.